Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. These are scriptures on humility. Humility, a modest or low view of one's own importance, can mean humbleness, modesty, meekness, unassertiveness, lack of vanity, lack of pride. can also mean freedom from pride or arrogance, the quality or state of being humble. I will read the Amplified Version of Luke chapter 7, verses 37 through 45. Now there was a woman in the city who was known as a sinner, and when she found out that he was reclining at the table in the Pharisee's house, she brought an alabaster vial of perfume, and standing behind him at his feet, weeping, she began wetting his feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head, and respectfully kissed his feet as an act of as an act signifying both affection and submission and anointed them with the perfume now when simon the pharisee who had invited him saw this he said to himself if this man were a prophet he would know who and what sort of woman this is who is touching him that she is a notorious sinner an outcast devoted to sin jesus answering said to the pharisee Simon, I have something to say to you. And he replied, Teacher, say it. A certain money lender had two debtors. One owed him 500 denarii and the other 50. When they had no means of repaying the debts, he freely forgave them both. So which of them will love him more? Simon answered, The one I take it, for whom he forgave more. Jesus said to him, You have decided correctly. Then turning toward the woman, he said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I came into your house, but you failed to extend to me the usual courtesies shown to a guest. You gave me no water for my feet, but she has wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair, demonstrating her love. You gave me no welcoming kiss, but from the moment I came in, she has not ceased to kiss my feet. Going down to verse 47, 46 and 47, you did not even anoint my head with ordinary oil, but she has anointed my feet with costly and rare perfume. Therefore, I say to you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much, but he who is forgiven little, loves little. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.